Good morning, good morning. It's another sunny day. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Story time is here. Hooray! Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Storytime. My name is Avi, and I'm the children's librarian here at the Nelson Public Library. And a big hello to you all, and a big hello to Ira, and Sonia, and Adelaide, and Rudy, and Ollie, and Nora, and Rory, and Bowen, and Julen, and Amber, and Maddie, and Sophia, and Zach, and Eleanor, and Felix, and Coco, and Levi, and Ainara, and Ander, and of course, Benji, and Felix. All right, I'm going to put this down for now, and we are going to do a little bit of bread and butter. That's okay, here we go, I'm ready. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as happy as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as sad as we can. Hello. Bread and butter. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello! Okay everyone, I'm very excited about today's book because it is the sequel to a book we read a few weeks ago. If you remember, we read a book called Dojo Daycare, and today we're going to read Dojo Day Trip. So it's the same author and illustrator, Chris Tugas, Tuga, I don't know how to pronounce it, published by Owl Kids Books here in Canada. Dojo Day Trip, here we go. Now, if you remember in Dojo Daycare, you had all these little ninjas at the Ninja Daycare. And in this book, the little ninjas are going on a field trip and they're going to a farm. Here we go. The little ninjas shout, Hooray! Today's our dojo day trip! Yay! With master leading arm in arm, they leave the bus to tour the farm. First they stop to feed the sow. That's the little piggy over there, or big piggy. When suddenly, yikes, yow. <laughs> I guess the piggy headbutted the master. Master winds up in the trough while the little ninjas scamper off. Scaring scarecrows, freeing chicks, giving fences roundhouse kicks. So these little ninjas are being a little bit rascally. It's a big barnyard disaster. No one's there to save the master. The ninjas all forgot their creed. Always help someone in need. So a creed is kind of like something that you repeat and you have to 
uh, stay true to it. So that's their, their, one of the things they learn as ninjas is always help someone in need, but they're not really doing it now. Ninjas hide inside the barn. As master calls across the farm, come and help me milk the cow. When suddenly, yikes, yow. Master flees the red barn racing. It's a big bull chasing him. From a bull that's charging, chasing. Ninjas chase each other too, making horns and yelling moo. It's a big barnyard disaster. No one's there to save the master. The ninjas all forgot their creed. Always help someone in need. Master hitches up the plow when suddenly, yikes, yow. The horse is spooked and sprints away, dragging Master through the hay. Ninjas clap and cheer him on until they realize something's wrong. It's a big barnyard disaster. Save me, ninjas, cries the Master. Remembering their ninja creed, they rush to help with ninja speed. Hooray! They saved them. Now with their master safe and sound, the little ninjas zip around. They feed the sow, they milk the cow, and give the field a ninja plow. They're plowing the field with karate kicks. They fly things, they fix things up around the farm, and even paint the old red barn. They're being so helpful now. Seems like they've realized how they should be behaving. The little ninjas give a bow. Master bows and whispers, wow. Quietly, without fuss, the ninjas board the ninja bus. Ninjas sit down row by row. Master drives off nice and slow. They sing their dojo travel song, and Master sighs and sings along. All is calm, at least for now. But down the road, uh-oh, somehow the giant bull snuck into the bus. Yikes! Yow! <laughs> Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. There's even another one. There's a third one after this one. Maybe we'll read it sometime soon. Okay, but in the meanwhile, it's time to move around a little bit. We'll start with our thumbs. My thumbs are starting to wiggle. My thumbs are starting to wiggle. My thumbs are starting to wiggle, and now so are my fingers. Play that invisible piano. My fingers are starting to wiggle. My fingers are starting to wiggle. My fingers are starting to wiggle, and now so are my arms. Be an octopus. My arms are starting to wiggle. My arms are starting to wiggle. My arms are starting to wiggle. And now, so is my body. Stand up and give me a full body wiggle. My body is starting to wiggle. My body is starting to wiggle. My body is starting to wiggle around and around and around. Yeah, that's right. I got a little spinny chair to sit on. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to do a funny little song. We've done it once before here a few months ago, so maybe you remember it. Not old McDonald. What animal is this? Can anybody tell me? That's right, it's a cow. Here's the song, okay? When cows, when cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what does a cow say? Moo! And this is what they say. 
What other animal do I have in this bag here? What animal is this? It's a horsey. When horsies wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When horsies wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what does a horsey say? <laughs> and this is what they say. All right, what other, what other animals are we gonna, f oh, this is a good one. What animal is this? I'll give you a clue. It's covered in mud. It's a piggy. When piggies wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When piggies wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what does a piggy say? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> and that is what they say. All right, what are they? Oh. This is a beautiful puppet. It's an owl. When owls wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When owls wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what does an owl say? Ooh, 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 ooh. Something like that. And that is what they say. All right, I think we have one last animal and it's a scary one. Ah, it's a lion. When lions wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When lions wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what does a lion say? Roar! And that is what they say. <laughs> All right, everyone, it's time to play a little song. I've got my instrument. Um, take a moment to get your own instrument if you've got one, whether you have spoons, an egg shaker, your clapping hands, a ukulele, a guitar, something to drum on, your singing voice, your listening ears, whatever it is. We are gonna sing, we've got the whole world. We got the whole world in our hands. We've got the whole wide world. In our hands we've got the whole world In our hands we've got the whole world in our hands We got the trees in the forest In our hands we got the trees in the forest In our hands we got the trees in the forest In our hands we got the whole world in our hands We got the rivers in the valleys in our hands we got the rivers and the valleys In our hands we got the rivers and the valleys In our hands we got the whole world in our hands We got the whole world In our hands we got the whole wide world In our hands we got the whole world In our hands we got the whole world we got the bear and the salmon In our hands we've got the bear and the salmon In our hands we've got the bear and the salmon In our hands we've got the whole world in our hands We got the whole world In our hands we've got the whole wide world In our hands we've got the whole world in our hands we've got the whole world in our hands. All right, everyone. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.